gear shift output. And this video isn't going to go over gear shift output specifically with the settings, but how to wire it. So there's a couple different ways that you can do it. You can do an automatic shift by RPM, manual upshift input button, or both. You can have an auto shift with manual upshift allowed or override, as some people call it. So when you do an upshift button, a lot of guys think that you take a ground to the button or a 12 volt to the, uh, to the button, and then you take the other side directly to the solenoid. This is a big no-no. Do not do this. How does the ECU know to kill if you're sending the just the signal to the solenoid? It doesn't. It's going to try to fire the shift solenoid, so it's going to potentially damage a transmission if you need to kill during a shift. So what you need to do is you need to do a input upshift button input. It has to be labeled an upshift button for upshift. You can do a negative signal with pull up, which means you run a ground to the button and then out of the button is a white input wire. It can be any input wire. Any input can be digital input. It does not matter which input. If you are doing a upshift button activated by 12 volts, you need to come down here to paddle shift and select upshift button 12 volts. When you go back to inputs, it shows a positive signal. I recommend ground, but you can do either or. You have to do a upshift button input for the ECU to know to kill the gear. When you do an upshift input, you do a gear shift output. Gear shift output goes directly to the solenoid, no relay needed. You can use any blue wire, specifically use a blue wire, and I strongly recommend using only blue for gear shift output, the output labeled gear shift output. You can run a switch 12 volts to the other side of the solenoid, or you can run a yellow output. A yellow output, I commonly use RPM activated output, can supply a 12 volts to the solenoid. So if we have RPM activated output up here, which we don't, so I'm going to go to map options. I'm going to find RPM activated output, check mark it, click the blue, and it takes me to RPM activated output. RPM activated output in other functions and I can enable it over a certain RPM. I can put 100 in here, I could put 10,000 in here. But I wanna activate it 12 volts with a yellow output. So anytime that the engine is running over 100 RPMs in this example, or if you put it 1,000 RPMs or 10,000 RPMs, it's going to send 12 volts to the solenoid, but it will not activate the solenoid until it sees the ground from the blue wire off of gear shift output. So you can use that yellow as a 12 volts, or you can use a switch 12 volts. But make sure if you're doing an upshift button override, that you use a upshift button input. Do not wire the button direct to the solenoid.